Well, here's the solution for the following equation. So what you can do is actually do cross multiplication is one way to tackle this problem by doing the following. And in that case, what's going to happen is you're going to have 5 minus x times by x minus 9. And it's going to equal to 10 times x minus 5. Okay, so next business is to expand this bracket. So you would have 5x and then times minus 9, which is 45. And then you have minus x squared plus 9x equals to 10x, same thing and then minus 50. Okay, so now I am going to collect like terms that are on this side, which you will realize is, uh, I'm going to get 14x uh, minus 45 minus x squared equals to 10x minus 50. Okay, so now I'm going to minus 14x on this side, minus 14x on this side. You're going to be realizing you're going to get minus 45 minus x squared equal to equal to what do we have here? We have 10 my x minus 14x is minus 4x minus 50. Okay, so uh, looks like I'm going to move these two also at the same time. So then I'm left over with 0 equals to, well, negative 4x. So we're going to have a positive x squared first. Negative 4x. And plus 45 to this, plus 45, you get minus 5. Okay, so my two equations now are x, x. Okay, so one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. And you want a product of 5 and a sum of negative 1. So it looks like this is going to be positive 1, oops, positive 1, and this is negative 5. Okay, so x equals to 5, or x equals to negative 1, and we have that choice right there. Hopefully that helps.